What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got the horse pack. It is out. Ah, yeah. Now, here is one thing to take a look at. Whenever you install the vehicles pack or the equipment pack, it will automatically download the map for you. If you don't want that, all you have to do is go in and click uninstall on the map and it'll uninstall the map. Now, inversely, you will need the vehicle pack or the equipment pack for the map to work. They require both if you have the map, but if you don't want the map, you don't have to have it. Whenever you click download on the horse pack itself, go down to the aggravation pack on the map and click uninstall and you'll be totally fine. Hope that helps you guys just a little bit. Let's jump in and let's check this equipment out. I tell you what, we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got a couple different planters, a couple different cedars. We've got an auger. We've got something for water. We've got something for seeds and fertilizer. We've got this little guy, a little shuttle. I'm not even 100% sure how we're going to use that, but we'll figure it out. Stuff for slurry. Oh, man, there's all kinds of stuff. Fertilization, sprayers. Let's take a look. The easiest way to get into this is just go to Horsch and Brands and bump over until you get to Mod. So first up, we have the Slurry Tank 2100. This has a 21,000 liter capacity. This can be used with two different implements, with either the drag hose or with this guy right here. Now, can you use it by itself? I don't believe so. I believe that you do need an extra implement on it. So make sure you've either got the drag hose or that you've got the cultivators on the back. Now, if you go with the cultivators, you only need about 50 extra horsepower on top of the 210. Or if you use the drag hoses, you only need about 10 extra horsepower. So 220 horsepower to pull this and a 36 meter drag hose. Goodness gracious, that's crazy. Now, if you want to move slurry from one place to the other, we have a 21,000 liter capacity. Boom, right there. Super exciting, super crazy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This can be moved or used to move slurry from point A to point B. Now, we've got the shuttle right here. It says that auger wagons also known as chaser bins, are trailers that have their own screw conveyor. So what I'm seeing here, so this could be either a front loader attacher or telehandler attacher. Here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this basically used as like a bucket of some sorts, like a super small auger wagon that you can use and take this. Let's see, where is it? Show you guys this. This guy right here. So I'm seeing that you can use this to do all kinds of little stuff for moving different crops from point A to point B. You could do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, seeds, lime, and solid fertilizer. So use your imagination. You can move stuff. Really cool. Next is the Seed Tender 10T. Now, if you played on Farming Simulator 17, this may look familiar because this is a little auger that you can use for seeds and for fertilizer. It's $21,000, holds 10,000 liters, 5,000 in the left, 5,000 in the right. So cool. I love it, I love it, I love it. Also, this, along with a few other things, has a, uh, well, it's pretty cool, we'll explain it later. We have the shuttle right here. This will do herbicide, it will also do liquid fertilizer. So you can move both of those. Very, very cool. You can move those from point A to point B. Use this as a shuttle to move things uh, like, for example, you've got your sprayer. You need to get your fertilizer out to it in the field. Use that. Now, you can also use that along with the seed tender in a different way. Again, I will explain later. Super cool. It's kind of tough to make it happen, but it's cool. So we have the Titan, the Titan 34. This will hold 34,000 liters. This is basically an auger wagon. That's all it is. It's just an auger wagon. Wheel setup, you can go crawler tracks or standards. So if you guys don't like the crawler tracks, you can go with wheel setup. Very cool, very cool. Doesn't cost you any extra money to change that up. Now, my favorite, <laughs> and I'd say it, my favorite cedar from Farming Simulator 17 is back and... 
It's got duels. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I didn't think they could make this thing any better, but goodness gracious, they proved me wrong. Yeah. So this will hold 10,000 liters. I can't remember exactly what that is. I think it's uh, seven and three. We'll check that out. It's got a 12 meter working width. Oh, that's just, oh, oh man, that's so cool. It will go 11 miles an hour, probably 12 miles an hour, let's be completely honest. So it's really cool. It will do seeds and fertilizer, and you can do all your main crops. You could do wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, and grass. And it is a direct drill. It's 171 grand too, not too bad. Now, if you don't want a direct drill version, you can get literally exactly the same thing right here. Now, the problem with this is it goes much, much slower, nine miles per hour, and it's not a direct drill. But nonetheless, if you wanna go this route, you can, and it's much cheaper too. It's 132,000 versus 171,000. Moving on. Now we have our planter right here. This will do all of your basic stuff. You could do, uh, let's see, corn, sunflower, soybeans. You can do sugar beets and cotton. Very cool. 139,000 seeds and fertilizer. Very cool there. Nine miles per hour, 12 meter working width. Bumping over. Now we have an 18 meter version. So this is as long or as wide rather as the Great Plains. Now it won't do as much. However, this will only do your normal stuff. Corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton. 18 meters, seeds and fertilizer, nine miles per hour, holds 9,000 liters of everything in the back. This is cool. This is brand new for Farming Simulator 19, by the way. This was not in 17. Cool. Next up, we have the Horse Lieb PT350. This will go 37 miles per hour on the road or seven miles per hour in the field, 36 meters, and will do herbicide as well as liquid fertilizer. It's got 354 horsepower. It's pretty beefy if you if you don't mind. If you don't mind, that is that is all right. And it's good look. I mean, it is good looking. Man, look at that guy. Arr. I love the front because it kind of looks like something from Cars. It's just got that big old smile on his face. I love it. I love it. I love it. This thing is a hoss. We also have a fertilizer spreader. This is the widest solid fertilizer that we have in the game 36 meters you heard me right 36 meters at 12 miles per hour you can't take the tracks off of here and it will hold 10,000 liters of solid fertilizer absolutely insane cost you fifty one thousand dollars and there's nothing you can do to it and that is it that is it for the dlc also these things kind of move around a lot so be careful when you buy those. But this pack is so cool. It's got so much crazy stuff in it. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Also, look at these duels. Look, oh, goodness gracious, look at that. So there you go. There is everything. Now, I mentioned that these guys right here have a trick. And I'm going to show you guys that trick right now. So what you want to do is you want to get you something that's got some pallet forks on the front. And grab a hold of your tender. So we're gonna use the C tender to start with and get you something that's got a fifth wheel on the back. The fifth wheel is the thing on the back of the semi truck. So what we've got here is we've got the man truck and we've got the Tatra Turno. So we're gonna take our man truck, we're gonna bring it around here and we're gonna line it up with the back of this. Now some of you may see what's going on here. So we take that we're going to pull this forward so it gets about right there. That'll do. Now, you will want to detach. You can attach and detach. You will want to detach. You can kind of see it going in and out, just like that. Detach that. And then, oh, let's take that off of there. And, of course, it doesn't want to let us detach the trailer, so we're going to have to go about this the long way. There we go, we got us a little bit of help. So now bring over your pallet forks and you wanna line this up just about so. 
underneath. There is a little spot for it. Now, you may have to go in and out to try and get this just about right, but... It, yeah, it... <laughs> I'm not the best at this. Forward a little bit. There we go. Nice and easy. Raise it up. And then we'll get our trailer out of the way. Just like that. And take this. And without crashing, which we're not very good at. Bring it over. And set it on the back. Just like that. And hopefully pull away without too much drama. Just like that. Now, jump in here and attach. No, it wasn't pretty, but we got it up there and we made it happen. So now, we are all hooked up on here. Boom. So now you have, essentially, a semi-truck that you can drive this around. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. And so not only do we have the seed tender on the back, but let's say that you want to keep the uh the the slurry or not the slurry your the other one right here you'll keep that like that boom well now you've got a whole thing where you can do solid fertilizer liquid fertilizer herbicide and seed you could do it all how neat that is one of the coolest things about this now of course we can also take off if we unhook the trailer take this and unhook that we can also do the same thing. We'll take that, lift it off here, and put it on the back of this one. Just like so. How? I mean, did this just neat, isn't it? There's just something about that that is just so freaking cool. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Now you've taken the Tatra, which a lot of people don't use. You've given it a purpose to move stuff. Now, granted, you can't move a lot, but you can still move stuff. And you got a trailer hitch. I don't think we put one on here, but you can put a trailer hitch on here and then drive other stuff around. So easy, so, so simple. Now, it doesn't only work with these though. If it's got a fifth wheel, it will hook up. Here's every single fifth wheel that we've got in the game, including the dolly. We've got all of the trucks, every single one of them that you can put a fifth wheel on. And every single one of them has something on the back of it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these guys right here, the seed tenders, they do have a bit of a lip on the front of them. You kind of see it hanging over the front of the trucks here. So do make sure that whatever truck you put it on, it's not gonna stick over the top or over the front and kind of glitch through the tractor at the front. But there you go. That is, uh, that's how that works. And how, I mean, how cool is that? It's just, there's something about it that's just, oh, that's awesome. Is it a pain to get up there? Yes. Oh, 100%. It's, uh, it sucks. But is it worth it at the end? Eh, I'll let you decide. I like it. I think it's cool. I'm going to get one. But nonetheless, there you go. There's that. Filling these guys up is pretty easy. Just go up to one of your fills and it will start filling it up for you. Just like that, we have seed and we have fertilizer here. You see we're filling up with fertilizer now. There you go, $10,000, whoo, that's high. And then pull up to your seed right there. And there you go, nice and easy. Now when it is time to use this, it is very, very important that you get close to whatever you are wanting to do. So you can see it says pipe out seed. So we're going to hit pipe out. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring it all the way back. Just like that. Now you will have to be up to something that needs seeds or needs fertilizer. So whenever you do that, just back up to whatever it is. It could be literally anything that will accept seeds and fertilizer. And you hit pipe out again. And that's going to switch over to your fertilizer there you go and then hit it again and it will pipe in so just back that the rear of the auger up to it and you will be good to go everything else is self-explanatory it works exactly like what we've got in game this is the only thing that's just a little bit different but not too bad well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already please subscribe if you got any questions drop those down in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you guys out that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see 
you later. Peace.